I'm Damien, this baby. Hey, little darling. Hi, baby. You okay? Yeah, I'm alright. How are you? Oh my god, I'm having a terrible time. I just can't stand my phone up for some reason. I yeah. Really well. I thought you were like a young person and should know Babe, what Listen, I've been smoking for a while, but clearly it's. Aren't you in your twenties? Like, don't you know how to? <laughs> <laughs> don't start with me. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Um, I uh, I got up today. I actually managed to do some exercise, and I just took the dog out. And, oh my god, I can't um, believe you've got a dog. I know, I know. It's the, it seemed like the right time, right? Like we'll never have more time to Bits. train it. The most, um, the the perfect time. I feel. The perfect time, yeah. Although I'm really sad mind. that all my friends are gonna miss like the cute puppy, puppy times. Like by the time anyone meets him, he'll be a full grown <laughs> dog. So. No, maybe um, not. You never know. You never know. But I think he's gonna be really time. big though. Uh, how old? He's right now almost five months old. If he if he comes around, I'll scoop him up. But he's pouting so much. Don't cry, baby. I'm not paying like attention Sandy to him. That's like Sandy saying, "Are you ready?" And he was like, "My dog's crying." I was like, five minutes." He's like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> he's gotta. He's gotta learn. He's gotta learn. Constant. How have you been, babes? I actually haven't spoke to you in like a couple of weeks, so this. Is, I know. As new to me as it is to you. How, how are it's you? Nice to see you. I'm fine. I'm really fine. Um, we are. Uh, upstate in the country so i'm very grateful to be out of the city right now because new york city is literally the most dangerous place in the world right now um, and our apartment is literally the size of like you know a postage stamp so um we would have definitely killed each other by now um and uh so yeah i'm grateful to be up here you know who knows like mm, what work is going to be this year now so that's a bit stressful but you know we're for now, everything's fine, so I'm, I'm grateful. And I'm I feel like we're all chilling. together with that, though. Like, the work thing is, like, ultimately stressful for all of us. Yeah, exactly. And that's the solace, right? Like, is that we're all in it together. Yeah. And we're all going to come out of it together. And, um, you know, we'll figure it out. Yeah, I was saying that earlier to someone. It's like, I feel like I'd be way, I'd find it way more difficult if, like, it was just one part of the world that was going through this. But yeah. because we're all going through it, then, like, I kind of feel that, like puts a lot of comfort in everyone. Yeah, and my hope is that we, when we do finally get out of this thing, that it just sort of shifts all of our like empathy and, you know, consciousness of other people and other cultures and, you know, everything just kind of levels up and we all are a little nicer to each other. Um, and we're all little angels. Hmm. I'm actually sad because you were coming to London in June and now. I was meant to be there in two weeks for like a month. Um, I'm and mad about that. I'm, I'm furious. I should be sipping a Pims. I should be. Babe, we could be you know, like living our best little life. Babe, right we'd be at heaven, you know, just up to God knows what. <laughs> this is not my Instagram live, remember that? I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's fine. That's tame. Because um, literally, I keep forgetting like through the day, and then like some people said things, I'm like, ooh, not my Instagram. Ooh. But hey, we can carry this on on my Instagram another day, and we can talk about all things <laughs> um so i imagine you've heard of 70 questions with vogue like when vogue's like 70 questions with lady gaga yeah are we're we doing 70 do questions we're not doing 70 we're gonna do like okay. 10. Fabulous. 70 babes i don't have the time for that babes um i'm gonna do like 10. okay also people who are watching um if you want to put in some little questions for andy and we can ask them at the end Right. All right. So <laughs> let's just do it. All right. All right. Where is your favorite place in the world? Ooh, um, my favorite place in the world is probably Palm Springs. Yes. Perfect. Choice. It's really good. It's really, um, really good. If you could go to any past concert. Which oh. you didn't attend. Yeah. Which, what one would it be? Um, it would probably be like Judy Garland at Talk of the Town. Oh you my know? God, yeah. God, I didn't yeah. even think about that. Yeah, it'd be something like that. It'd be like Judy, but maybe not then. Though. Maybe I'd want to see like Judy at her prime, but I do feel like- Back at the palace. Being there, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, Judy the Palace. I yeah, think, wow. actually, is my is my answer. I'd want to see fresh, Judy fresh Palace. Judy. Then I don't want to see Judy on the down the downside. Yeah, no. Yeah, maybe that. Oh, maybe Pat Midler somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah. What? Da, 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 da. What makes you smile the most? Um, animals. Videos of animals doing stuff, doing anything really. But animals doing anything. I'm an animal person, but yeah, like videos of animals. Okay. Um, if there was a film about your life, who mm -hmm. would you get to play you? Oh God, um, it's a really good question. Who would want to play me? I would want like, I would want like Rachel Brosnahan, who's the marvelous Mrs. Maisel. You know her, that actress. <laughs> I'd want like either her or like Tilda Swinton or like, um, Michael B. Jordan, just because he's my celebrity crush, and I think he's so hot. Um, <laughs> one of those. Tilda Swinton, interesting. Yeah, well, she can do anything. She's yeah, really I mean, chameleon. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Um, what is the scariest thing you've done? Um, scariest thing I have done is um, I was in this concert a few years back of Parade that yeah. Jason Robert Brown was, was conducting yeah. um, at Lincoln Center. Yeah. And it was like a one night only thing, like star studded. And so there was like thousands of people there at Lincoln Center, you know, which is such a big deal. And we had, you know, like a week of rehearsal or something. And I was so sick when um, we were rehearsing that I never could like, first of all, I showed up on the first day of rehearsal and Jason Robert Brown was like, so we've taken your song up a whole step. And I was like, I don't know about that. Um, and he's like, no, 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 trust me, it's better. Like, because the song comes before it, we have to, we just, it's better, we're doing it. I was like, okay. Uh -huh. And I was really sick all through rehearsal. <clears throat> so I like didn't have it, I like didn't have it. And like, he was disappointed, I could tell. And like, I didn't know, he's like, well, I would rather you just like sing alternate notes than like us take it down. So like, just like, and I was like, that's a bummer. I wanna like sing the melody as written and, um, and so we like get there on the night of, and I'm feeling like under rehearsed. I like just had gotten better like the day before I was like, starting to feel a little better. So I like, and there in front of thousands of people for this, they'd all paid like a lot of money per ticket. And I'm about to do the song. And I like literally have no idea if I'm gonna be able to do it or not. Like, I don't know what, I don't know if I'm gonna crack. I don't know like what, I'm like deciding in the moment whether or not I'm gonna like go for the actual notes or like yeah. sing the alternate notes I've been doing all week. And I sang the real notes and it was okay. So yeah. it ended up being, it has a happy ending, but it was truly terrible. I think like I collapsed when I got backstage. I was so, <laughs> it, was like, it was so scary. Yeah. I mean, great story, babes. Great mm. story. Um, what is your favorite takeaway? I'm interested about this. Does that mean like, like take out? Like fast food, language? Yeah. Fast food, okay. Um, like, um, I would say French fries and like chicken fingers with yeah. like a lot of different dipping sauces. Like there was this place by my flat last summer when I was working in a fair country um, called like, it was some fried chicken place. It wasn't KFC, it was like something kind of upscale. It had a blue logo. It was right around the corner. Yeah, it's right down um, on, right the, um, on the, yeah, I know what, what is it called? Yeah, and, um, and they had, I would, that was my like cheeky, like late night, I would get like a five piece and like a fries and they had all these different dipping sauces, like little chipotle, aioli, oh, yes. and little garlic, you know. Know. that's what I would like to feast all alone by myself in the dead of the night. <laughs> in the dead of the night, in the dead of the night. Um, if you could come to London with any show, Oh, what would it be, babes? Mm, 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 mm. I've been dying to do Rent one more time before I'm like completely too old for it. Yeah, I think I could still pull it off um, on stage. And um, I auditioned for it many times when it was in New York. And it's just like, I, Michael Greif, the original director, just doesn't see me in it, fair enough. But like, I do feel like I can do that show. I did it once it. recently, but I'm dying to do like a big production of it in a major city. And I feel like, some cool little London theater could do a really cool new take and like well, make it different than that original. 
production, you know. So rent for sure. If anyone's out there listening, I'm ready to do rent. Um, it's coming, but it's going to matter. Or I do feel I do feel like I'm approaching my my years where I could do headwig. I'm feeling like prepared to do yeah. it. I feel like you want a headwig of a certain age, and I feel like I'm like approaching that time. And I wouldn't feel scared about doing that. I like I would love to say like Romeo or something, but like I don't. I'm not doing Shakespeare in London. I'm just not like I'm yeah. so scared. But um. But uh, yeah, oh my one of those. Gosh, Hedwig, yes. That 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 could happen. Like we could make yeah. that. Well, I say me and you, like we're producers. Well, but, do you like, know we'll, we'll get on Kickstarter. Well, the universe yeah. is ready for that. I think. I'm I'm ready. I'm very available. I'm just I'm sitting here waiting for the phone to ring. So I'm, I'm ready. I'll I'll call you, but it won't be about that. Um, <laughs> what else can I ask you? If you were a superhero, what would be your superpower? Ooh, um, I think I would really love, um, I would love to be able to fly, but without like effort, like no wings, but like to levitate solely for like ease of travel. You know what I mean? You know how like when you're walking in the city and you're like behind someone slow, this is old problems. Now there's no one, but like back in the past when there used to be crowds and you're like, oh, I just wish I could, can you imagine just being like, mm -hmm, and then, you know? Yeah, oh yeah. God. yeah, okay, that's, what I that's want. a good one. Yeah. Every single person I've asked is their invisibility. Well, they're really insecure then. I never want to be <laughs> <laughs> I want to be as visible yeah. as possible. <laughs> um, if you could be a cocktail, what would you be? Ooh, I would be a, I probably am mostly at this point gin martinis because I've had so damn many of them while I've been yeah. in this quarantine. Um, yeah, I would be like a gorgeous, very dry gin martini with a twist. I like a twist, not an olive. Um, stirred. Um, yeah. Yeah, delicious, herbaceous, like St. George. Um, oh, every single word you just said there, like, mm. literally made me so happy. <laughs> delicious, herbaceous. Gracious. Yeah. That, oh, that can, that's gonna have to, like, next time you're back, we'll go to Ketner's and we'll just absolutely get all of them. Yep, fabulous. Um, do, 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 do. <laughs> this is a really funny question. <laughs> what color prom dress would you wear? Ooh, um, I think like champagne. Like, I'm really into like neutrals. Oh, so, like, a gorgeous, a like, kind of camel colored, but like the shiny version. So, I think you call that champagne. Not on like this yeah, iPhone champagne. table. Like, this is more gold, but like, you know, something kind of neutral and like elegance. Elegance. Yeah. Are Although, you, that's not very good for my skin tone. So, like, no, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll I would just look nude, I think. We'll pop um, in some time. Um, yeah. Are you watching RuPaul? Of course. Who do you want to win? Gigi Good. Oh, God. Although so I'm also good. really here for Jada Essence Hall. She I am like, super here for Jada. No she's one has like ever been more boy. like polished than her. Like she is just like a pro and you can tell. Like, and I thought her video was actually my favorite last week of like, the all that. ads. It made me laugh the most. Yeah, I Gigi's that. video to me felt like a manufactured weak point for her. Like I actually thought her video was really funny. And the, when they were all like, yeah, just kind of a snooze, I was like, you're just trying to make it not quite so obvious that she's definitely gonna win. Yeah. I, th I thought it was really, sound off in the comments, y'all, but I thought she was really funny. But I thought Jada was the most funny last week. Jada was great. And also Jada looked so good in the Madonna Always. musical. The Madonna musical when she had that- Oh, look. yeah, yeah. Stunning. I was shocked. Stunning. Jada, if you're watching, I love you. Jada, darling, if you're here. DM me. We yeah. love you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm here for both of them, to be honest. Both of them. All right. Um, what else did I ask other people? Um, blah, blah, blah. If you could play a female part in a musical, who would you play? Sally Bowles. Without question, Sally Bowles. It's the yeah. greatest role. That was such a quick time. answer. Have you been asked that I've before? I've thought about it many times, yeah. <laughs> well, no, I just think about it all the time. I like, wish that I could play Sally Bowles. I think Dying you could. One day, babe. She, has, she gets pregnant in the thing. I've always thought about, like, could it be just, like, a boy in drag and like it's Berlin, but she literally gets pregnant. Spoiler she literally so, like, has yeah, a child it. inside of her. Unless I'm just doing full like gender blind cat, which that's cool too. But like, yeah, I don't think it can happen. I mean, not right now. Not okay. right now. In 10 years time, 
the world's oh. greatest star. That's the other thing. You you really want a Sally who like you feel like she's lived. It's like her last chance. You know, I'm just so ageless and um, in the prime of my life that um, you wouldn't buy it. You wouldn't buy it. But. <laughs> <laughs> you are too much. What is your favorite thing about London? My favorite thing about London is um, drinking outside. The way you are allowed to like hang out on the streets. In the past, you were allowed to hang out on the street and have a pint, and it's like not a big deal. You know, it's not allowed in America, except for in New Orleans, you can do that. Um, and every time I'm there, I just find it so novel and fabulous. Um, We've had many. But then I, but, I will say the thing I like least about London, you didn't ask, but I'm going to tell you, is the way you can't eat anything after like nine o'clock. You can't get dinner. Like everything closes. No, that's you got to go to balance. True. It is true, babe. It babe, is true. we have this argument every babe. time you come to London. You're like, babe, there's nowhere for us to eat. Babe, there's outside. nothing to eat. I can't do it. No, that's not the truth. <laughs> I'm just thinking. I'm well, it's very thinking. different than New York City. I'll say that. Oh my God, yeah. Like New York, not as many you get dinner at 4 a.m., but like. Yeah, anything you want. I know. I feel you. I do feel you on that. But I love London. I really do. But it is like street parties are the best. We had so oh. many fun ones. Oh my god! I literally remember that like, Pride last year. I sat on the streets. <sighs> Man, <laughs> I'm so sad. The sad thing is, is like the London Pride's being postponed. Like we're we're all just like. Oh. Yeah, New York Pride just got cancelled. Straight up cancelled. So yeah, I think ours is being postponed. Brighton got cancelled with Mariah Carey and stuff, but. London mm -hmm. did say postponed, but I'm feeling like it's just gonna, they're gonna be like, oh, we're gonna be cancelled. Yeah. Um, what? Da, 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 da. What is the best activity at home on a rainy day? Oh, um, for me, video games. I'm like a big nerd, and so I will just like. Yeah, what games do you play? In... I bet you're on Animal Crossing. Oh, big. <laughs> Every... That's my morning game. I like, I get up. I like take the dog out, I get back in bed with a coffee and I like scroll my little phone for like a minute, but then I put that down and I pick up the switch and I'm in Animal Crossing. I'm like checking my mail, I'm digging up fossils, I'm like making it happen in my town. Um, yeah, I'm loving that. I've not played it. Ugh. But I feel like I would become highly addictive. Well, it's the best thing for, I don't know if you know what it is, but it's like a, it's like a second life. It's like kind of like The Sims or something where it's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so for right now, it's like the best, it, it could not have come out at a better time. Cause we're all like, well, I have no real life. So I'll have a favorite. So I'll live, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm avo I used to love Sims, but I've avoided, I've avoided getting it cause I get so involved in it. And I was like, yeah. I actually think I need this time to actually rest. Cause you know me, I am like the most outgoing. Bada, 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 bada. Like I can like live my life on a 20 hour day and sleep for four. Yeah. So I think my body's like, whoa, Michael, you've never sat this much in your life. Take a break. Take a break. You know, so actually, as hard as it is, it's actually quite like refreshing for the for the world, especially London. Like I've been cycling around London quite a lot. And I was just saying earlier, like I cycled into Soho the other day and like there was not one human. And all the bars had like wood all over them, like the theatres were closed, and I was like, This is the saddest thing ever, but like I've never seen it so clean. Yeah. And so like, and the weather here has been amazing and like, it just, yeah, I think the world just needs a break, to be honest. Yeah. Well, the world just needs a break. We're gonna come out the skate swinging though. Like, Babe. I'm, I'm gonna be a nightmare when they let me out of here. I am nervous, especially for Brits. Like Brits, we know how to drink. <laughs> like, can you imagine <laughs> the first weekend in London that lockdown gets, really, like, gets lifted? I mean, but You're all gonna run out of gin. Like, I actually can't wait. I actually can't. So, oh, it's gonna be a war zone. The next pandemic will start in Soho at that time. Yeah, like something will like come out of the sewer because <laughs> <laughs> it's actually gonna be a pandemic in Soho, and I can't wait. <laughs> um, but let's answer some of these questions that people have asked you. Okay. Um, how's Michael and the puppy? Oh my god, I haven't even asked. How is Michael? Michael's good. He's good. He's out right now grocery shopping. So he's like put on the full like space suit because um, we have to like get more groceries. So he's doing all the thing. He has like the mask and the gloves and the thing. And the... we go one at a time usually to like kind of minimize our contact with the outside world. So yeah. he's good. He's like having a lot of meetings on Zoom and trying to like move projects forward for like whenever we're allowed to have theater again. Yeah. Um, 
who knows when that's going to be. Um, yeah, so trying to stay busy. Scary, and then the dog is amazing. I don't know where he is right now, which makes me think he's probably like pooping on something he's not supposed to. But that's okay. That's okay. He's a baby. Um, what else have we got? Um, <clears throat> which wild party do you prefer? That's an interesting. Oh, party. um, Lacusa. I have to say, and Lippa, I, I'm a big fan of Andrew Lippa's. He went to my school. He's a very nice guy. Um, but just for my money, I like like a weirdo. Like the Lippa score is so like beautifully like poppy and like accessible, and you want to put it on like belt in your bedroom. But I love like a weirdo score that's like a little more angular, a little more like hard to know where it's going next. You know? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And that's Lacusis for me. And also, I just love that recording so much because of Tony Collette. Who is a queen? She's so good yes. on that recording. Yes, yes, yes. What was your audition material when you went to drama school? What did you audition with? What was your song? Oh, really good question. Um, I did my monologues were the goat. I did this like the son's monologue from the goat, um, yeah. and uh, I did um, uh, measure for measure Claudio and measure for measure the like yeah. the yeah that one that, that old chestnut. Um, that chestnut. And then uh, my songs were, um, I did a song from Elegies for Angels, Punks, and Raging Queens. Oh my God, what one? Learning to Let Go. Oh, I love that song so much. Be in the oh, so good. So cool. um, and I did um, The Mason from Working. And then I was informed at like one of the auditions that like I needed to have something old. Like I was doing all this like, and I was like, it's from the seventies, that's old. They're like, no, 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 babe, like back, back. Like back. I was like, okay. And so I did, um, I did All the Things You Are from Very Warm for Me, Jerome Kern, which is lovely. Um, oh my God, yeah, that was my uh, yeah. assessment. But all ballads, I had no up tempos. I was like, I'm not funny, yeah. don't I make me try to be funny. Like, don't make me try to be like, like zany. I still don't have an up tempo, like to this no. day, but like bring your up tempo and I'm like, what's up? What's, I don't, no, I wanna be, my ideal setting is like on a stool in low light with like a cabaret mic, like whisper, you know what I mean? Like I, I, I have trouble like being, showy i just have never been good at it yeah i'm with you on that i think we're very similar yeah. on that level yeah uh, everyone just keeps saying really pretty windows babes oh hey thanks these old things <laughs> these old things um what they would you, are quite old in rent would you be doing roger or mark you know what i've always thought of myself as a mark um but lately i'd be interested in what roger i could pull off i've always wanted to see a roger like i feel like the archetype for roger became this like very like like ripped, like straight, like, um, you know, kind of like hot guy. And he is, they say he's the pretty boy front man, so I, I get that. But I've always been interested in like a, a more like Kurt Cobain y Roger, like a skinnier, yeah. kind of middle part bleached blonde, like in a flan, you know what I mean? Like looking a little more yeah, like a drug addict, frankly. Like, you know, Roger always looks so like healthy, and he's actually just coming back from half a year of withdrawal, we learned. So like, why isn't he like really skinny and like- That is know. so true. He comes out looking so sexy and ripped. Yeah, yeah. Which that, you know, both makes sense with the text, but I, I'd right. be interested in trying that as well. But I'm shit at the guitar. I swore on this, but I'm not good on the guitar. So I wouldn't be good on the guitar. I mean, yeah, guitar is, I've picked up a few times and I think I've got the fingers, but I don't have the attention span. The fingers, oh my God. Um, Oh yeah, okay. Um, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I want to join theater in the UK. What should I do? I'm from India. Um, God, that's a question and a half. I really don't know the answer. Just come to London. Obviously not now, but yeah, get here. It's cool. The schools are great and very, very, very cool place to be. Um, I'm just gonna scroll back down. <laughs> Everyone's like, how did you get the windows there? <laughs> Oh, um, well, the, my house here is, a, is an old church. So they were here before I got here. Literally a, an old church. That was Such a beautiful house. Um, someone has asked for an album recommendation. What have you been listening to? I mean, oh, all What have I been listening to? That's a good question. Um, of course, now my mind like is completely blank. Um, what have I been listening to in the spring? I've been listening to Jack Garrett's new records. He has like these two little EPs that you could like make together, and put together into one full album. That's been really great. And on my list, Fiona Al Apple's new album that just came out this week is really weird and fun. Loving that. Um, loving that. Loving that. Loving, 
what else? I feel like there was one thing that like dominated my spring, and now I can't remember. If it comes to me before we sign off here, I'll shout it out. Stunning. Um, oh my god, Windows again. Windows, Windows, Windows. What was your favorite project that you've worked on? Uh, Death West Spring Awakening. Yeah, sure. I was gonna say. Just that we like made that in our living room, and then it was on Broadway. I could that for you, to be honest. Crazy, yeah, it was crazy. Um, da la la. Andy, what's your favorite song to perform? Someone said they Oh, it. my favorite song to perform. Um, there's this song called Lady of the Sea by Chris Miller and Nathan Tyson, who wrote Tuck Everlasting. Um, it's a little known song of theirs from a song cycle they wrote um, that is just really beautiful and I love performing it. And I do it here and there. Um, I also love doing I love it when uh, Answer Me time. from the band's visit, which we did at my little concert. Babe, so good. You I love that song. That was so good. Thanks. And I love it when you sing Valentine's Day, that Jonathan Larson song. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love singing Valentine's Day as that. well. Yeah. Oh, Gary's here. Hey, Gary. Oh, Gary. Oh, Gary, honey, baby. Oh, it's silent. Um, great. Let's just ask one more, and then I'll let you go, babes. Okay, babes. We've got busy things to do. Um, a lot of people are asking about Burn All Night. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I so I wrote this... Is. It's a musical that I wrote that was done in Boston, like maybe four years ago, five years ago, something like that, a while back. Um, that is, people are talking about right now because it was about um, a sort of apocalypse scenario and there was a whole section where these people were all stuck inside together. Right. Uh, we're getting a lot of like audio bounce back. Anyway, um, and uh, so I've been thinking about it a lot lately and we might be planning a cheeky little release because we've never really put anything from it out there but there might be something coming soon if people really want it so um, we want it babe. stay tuned i want it so wish it should happen all right. all right well anything you want you have my darling thanks babes all right well i'll let you go because i know you've got other things to do okay thanks so this much was for so fun. thank you thanks for everyone who tuned in yeah thanks so much for watching everyone love you love you loads i'll text you love you loads bye bye thanks so much bye Bye.